Good morning, everybody. It's 825 on Tuesday morning, the 9th, and this is your pre-opening comment. It is video number 1398. Okay, the chart on the screen is the oil. And uh, as I mentioned yesterday, I was looking for a close over uh, this level, which was 9066, I believe, 9057. Um, and... Uh, 9066 is correct. And so we got that yesterday, closing 9076. So not much. And I mentioned it last night. It's still below the five day uh, MA. Uh, but this morning we opened, uh, you know, around unchanged and traded up overnight and into this morning. And the last on the oil is up a dollar four and it is headed towards it looks like it's headed towards this 94 and a half 95 area uh, also the gold d is not following through but it's also not giving it up um, we're up about 40 cents which is really kind of meaningless um, and this is the uh, daily on that it has been in this consolidation looks like it wants to go higher Obviously, a break and close above 1812 would be very constructive uh, to this market. Um, as far as the others, silver is down a little. Copper is basically unchanged. Uh, the, in the softs, we have the um, cotton up another dollar seventy. Uh, and we have the coffee, which really cannot get out of its own way. Looks like it's headed towards that uh, 200 area, uh, down about two and a half dollars. Uh, the market is a mixture. Um, right now, the uh, NASDAQ is down about 70, including fair value. Uh, but the Dow is uh, basically unchanged. Uh, and we have the S&P currently down about 16. The Dow is actually up uh, 46 cents on that. So nothing overwhelming, but, um, you know, it is holding here with the NASDAQ, as I said, down 70. Uh, a lot of the um, chip stocks uh, in that one uh, definitely leading the way. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, earnings uh, this morning. And Micron, uh, at the low end of its guidance, Novavax from yesterday with poor results and extremely poor um, guidance. Uh, Boeing gets the uh, approval on the 787 deliveries. That's really not doing much of anything. Upstart, which actually missed uh, top and bottom line, gave crappy cons um, consensus and in fact, was up after that, has turned back down, 28.12, down 4.15. Um, and Signet Jewelers, uh, which has lowered guidance, hasn't reported, but it's lowered guidance, and is buying the online uh, company Blue Nile, which sells jewelry, uh, for 360 million, but Signet is uh, 65.02, and that is uh, down about six, uh, down about 3.9 uh, percent. Uh, just going back to the um, futures, we have Bitcoin and Ethereum both down, and we have Coinbase tonight reporting. So we'll have to see how that looks. And the bonds are down 23.30 seconds, which is about um, uh, half, uh, actually about five-eighths of a dollar. All right, everyone. Uh, oh, CRMD. Horrendous. This is a stock that has gone from six, uh, from, pardon me, from 260 to 822 since the middle of June. Uh, but this morning is three dollars and eight cents down four dollars and f uh, fourteen cents, or sixty percent, on an FDA delay of an approval for a catheter solution product. All right, everyone, have a good day. Be careful out there. Don't forget, tomorrow is CPI.